Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. I am feeling a tremendous anointing here. Dear Jesus, to My you be God the praise, Almighty. to you be the Hallelujah. glory, to you be the honor. My Blessed Jesus. be the name of the Lord forever. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy People, Spirit. People, listen, listen. We're just flowing here because he just finished the program. It was so awesome that aired yesterday. But, you know, we're just flowing here and we are keeping going. Yes. The Lord has so anointed this man. This is, by the way, Pastor Corey Barker. We go a long way back. Yes, I used to do. go preach for him. Oklahoma City back in the 80s, for goodness <laughs> sake. We saw such miracles in his church. Unbelievable. He's got, he, what, eight churches so far. That you go just plant yeah. churches, start churches. Watch him explode. You know, see, see him explode, and yeah. then you go do, yeah. do it all over again. I had no idea this is the same Coy Barker that I knew when I walked in today. I almost blew up. I thought, my God, I know him. <laughs> But the word of the Lord, dear Hallelujah. Jesus, I pray Thank a you, mighty Father. anointing Father. will descend, touch your people. Lord, mm. let this word be for them today so in Jesus' Father. name. May not one person miss Jesus. this word from heaven Jesus. in Jesus' glorious name. Hallelujah. Whoa, okay. Hallelujah. I, I want to hear it. I, Amen. I'm, honestly, I really am not kidding you. I am feeling a wonderful anointing. It's, here. it's like a cloud Jesus, of the glory. Jesus. It's like a cloud of the glory. Lord, let's just believe with the people. Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, every need today will be met. Whether it be physical, spiritual, emotional, financial. Do it, Jesus. Lord, meet the needs of your sweet people today watching this program. In Jesus' mighty name. Listen, thank Hallelujah. you for being my partner. Thank yes, you for being my friend. Yes, thank you for yes. standing with me and praying that God will keep doing what he's been doing for years. You know that anointing, once it uh, stirs you, dear God, you, uh, can't, you can't come down. You can't control it. No, it's, it's uncontrollable. Awesome. Wow, okay, I want to hear it. First of all, let me say, what a joy. No, it's a joy for me. Coy. For us to be back together. <laughs> it's a joy <laughs> for me after all you, those years. Wow. It is unbelievable. When, when the invitation was given, I literally exploded inside. You know why there's such an anointing on you, by the way? You've been praying since 4 this yes, morning. Yes, He began praying at 4 o'clock this morning. This is already afternoon here in yeah. California. But God, God just spoke to me. He said, if you'll put your face before me, I will give you a sure word of prophecy that will change the people for His glory. Thank you, Lord. And it was like God just began to roll rivers. You know how it is. Sure. God just rolls those rivers through you. And so he, he began to speak to me that those who hear a God instruction, I think it's so important that we drive this home before I really get into 1 Samuel. But when they hear a God instruction, what caused Lazarus to be raised from the dead was they heard a God instruction they rolled the stone away, and Jesus brought him forward. They had to hear the God instruction. Yeah. What caused the Red Sea to open was Moses heard and obeyed a God instruction. Absolutely. First Kings 17, the widow woman who was fixing to cook her last meal for her and her son that we all know so wondrously is a story of faith and power and provision. But she had to hear a God instruction. Elijah had to show up and give a God instruction for her to get a miracle. Yeah. She had to obey the God instruction and heaven opened over her and Jesus wrote about her and spoke about her in the New Testament. Some of you right now, I hear the Lord so clearly, oh, are in a oh, difficult oh, place. You're in a hard thank place. You, Jesus. Listen carefully. Somebody listening right now to me, you have a prophetic word. God has given you a prophetic word. Now, I believe with all my heart, 2 Chronicles 20, 20 said, if you can hear a prophet and do what the prophet orders you to do, you'll prosper. And if you move in faith and do what the Spirit of God says, when you understand, I'm not here for me, I'm here for you. God sent me here for you. Yeah. There is a change coming to your family. There's a change coming to your physical body. 
There's one thing that I know about Pastor Benny and his ministry. He's not afraid to look the powers of darkness square in the eye and say, this is your end of tormenting these people. This moment is a God moment in your life where heaven is going to shake. I can actually hear in my spirit's ear, chains are already falling. Just when he began to pray a moment ago, chains begin to fall off of you. Chains that have broken your heart, chains that have broken your family's lives, chains that have kept you from the blessing of God, they're falling off of you. They're falling off of you. You will never be the same again, says the Spirit of God to you. There is a breakthrough. There is a breakout. There is an anointing that is going to permeate your life forever. This is a moment of change. I hear the Lord saying, as you obey this command that I will give you strictly as a servant of God in a moment, there is going to be a shift in the supernatural. And what used to be hard is going to become easy. What used to be a difficult situation, God's going to resolve. God's going to show you his power. There is a glory that's going to come down. Talking to a business person, You know the contract belongs to you, but hell has held it. When you obey this simple instruction that I will give you in a few moments, I'm telling you a change is going to happen in your business. God's going to turn things around. This is not just another program. Pastor Benny's already said there is an anointing. There is a supernatural. This is a moment of the power of God. And when you understand a simple act of faith, God moves when we act in obedience and faith. Heaven responds. The windows of heaven open, and God begins to show his power. I sense such an anointing for restoration. There will be great restoration. Things that you've lost, that you have wept over, things that you have lost, that you have said, God, how can I ever recover it? This is a moment of of recovery. This is a moment of recovery. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Listen to the voice of God. God's about to turn your world around. Suddenly is about to happen. Acceleration is going to happen. Listen to the voice of God. Things are going to go beyond your expectation where God's about to move with this acceleration of his power this acceleration of his provision. It's going to go far beyond what you expected. This is a word from God for you. Your expectations are too low. God's about to take you to another level of living in the kingdom. God's about to show you his miraculous power. I feel such an anointing. My skin is jumping. I'm telling you, there is a miracle working power, a supernatural anointing that is here, present tense, to change your world. It is not by accident that you're looking at me right now. This is a God moment. The very thing that Pastor Benny said, when we were reconnected, something happened in the heavens. I'm telling you, it was a bad day in hell because suddenly there is... Two of us come in an agreement and there is going to be masses of healing, masses of deliverance. There's going to be an anointing that's going to hit your worst situation is going to be suddenly changed by the power of God. God spoke to me today, this day, as I was laying before God saying, God, what do you want me to say? I've got a lot of things I could say, but only what you won't say is what will bring help to the people. And God took me to 1 Samuel 30, a story that's familiar to you. David had been prophesied by Samuel that he would be the king. He had been anointed to be the king by the prophet. But instead, he ended up in a transition season where he was wondering what happened to the prophetic word. And then he's off in a war, him and his warriors fighting. He comes back to Ziglag in 1 Samuel 30, comes over the hill, smoke is rising, ashes were there, but his family was taken, his gold was taken, his silver was taken, his sheep, his oxen, everything was stolen by the enemy. Can you relate to that? 
you have a word from God. God said he's going to turn your family around. But suddenly your son or daughter has gone the other direction. God's going to turn your family around. But your mate seems to be going the wrong direction. I have a God word for you. A suddenly is about to happen for you. That that seems to be ashes. And let me just tell you, don't bury your God word in the pile of ashes that you're in today. Because I'm telling you, God's going to change it so quickly. The Bible said when David saw it, his own army turned to him and turned on him and said, maybe we should kill you. And the Bible said he fell before God and said, God, you alone have the answer for the dilemma that I'm in today. And the Bible said God spoke a direction in the midst of his ashes, his heart broken, his world crashed. God gave a word. I've been sent to you in the midst of your chaos, and God's going to put a crown of glory Amen. on your head. Amen. In the midst of your pain, God's going to show you his power. Amen. In the midst of your burden of debt and lack and financial pressures, God's going to show you he's Jehovah Jireh. Amen. Watch this. When he went before God, he asked two questions. One, he said, Lord, what should I do? Lord, how can I do it? And God gave him three answers from his two questions. First of all, he said, pursue. Second thing he said, overtake the enemy. And the third thing he said, you'll recover all. You know what the Holy Spirit's saying to you today? You, this is your moment to pursue God. Yeah. You get a passion in your heart. You get your faith stirred up. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to take a step. I'm going to ask you to walk by faith. I'm going to ask you to move beyond every negative voice you've ever heard. And I want you to walk into your destiny. Hear me. Some of you are so close to your destiny. You're so close to your miracle. You're so near the biggest breakthrough of your life. I hear the Holy Ghost saying clearly to me, this is your God moment. This is that time. This is that moment that heaven is going to respond to your plea. Now listen to me. All along, mm. God responded wow. to your heart. His heart was touched. But today, we're going to move his hands. God said to me so clearly this morning, help my people to understand that my hands are moved yep. when a seed offering is given. Yeah. When that offering goes up, the curses are broken. When that offering goes up, the miracles begin to be released. Listen to me. The Bible said in Acts 10, Cornelius, a man outside the kingdom, gave offerings to the kingdom. And the Bible said it became such a memorial to God that he stopped everything he was doing, sent an angel. Listen to me. He sent an angel. Some of you are about to have a visitation Thank you, of an Lord. angel. Thank My you, God, I feel something happening. Thank you, Lord. You're about to have a visitation of an angelic being. He sent because of his gift, because of in giving. The Bible said God sent an angel to Simon Peter and said, Go to Cornelius and prophesy to him. He's ready for him and his whole household to get saved. Are you listening to me? This one step of faith, this one action of faith is going to change your household. God spoke that so clearly to me this morning, took me back to Acts 10. I read it just today. And God said, tell them when they obey the instruction that I put in your heart, they will experience a supernatural angelic power of God is going to be released. Listen to me. God is about to show you his power. Pastor Benny, I feel wow. such an anointing. I feel such a glory. I feel such a supernatural. You are on the edge of the greatest days of your life. Listen, listen to me. Don't let the past pain, do not let the past hurt cause you right now to say, I don't know. Hear the voice. You say, well, Coy Barker, I, I don't understand what's going on. Can I be honest? There's a lot of things in the kingdom I don't understand. I don't understand how black cow eats green grass, gives white milk and yellow butter. But I had white milk and yellow butter today. I'm not going to sit in the darkness because I don't understand if I flip that switch and that light comes on, 
I don't understand how water can go over a dam somewhere. It turns into power to cut my lights on. But until I understand, I'm going to keep flipping the switch and setting in the light. Somebody right now, you're about to flip the switch. <laughs> you don't understand it all. You can't figure it all out. It's not in your scientific ability to figure out. But I'm going to tell you, your faith is going to move the hands of God. Your faith is going to bring salvation to your household. It's going to bring healing to your body. It's going to break the barriers that hell has set up there. I sense such a barrier-breaking anointing on this ministry right now. I'm telling you the greatest days of your life are now. Hear the voice of God. Listen, he sought God. God gave him the answer. He obeyed God. He pursued the instruction of God. And the Bible said in three days, listen to me, three days, some of you are going to have a three-day miracle. Three days later, he had got back double everything he had lost. Mm. He got his family right. He got his cattle, his oxen, his gold and silver. But then he got double. You know what happened to Job 42? Yeah, he got double. Exactly. You know what's going to happen to you when you obey God in a moment? You're going to get double. Amen. God's going to give you double for your trouble. God's going to take your shame and turn it to double, said the prophet Isaiah. God is about to do a work that your own family, listen to me, your own family will not understand it. Supernatural, mighty power of God opened and delivered into your life. This is your time. Now watch this. David didn't know when he was sitting depressed, broken, his family messed up, his money gone, his whole life in disarray. He never realized three days later, 72 short hours later. Mm. My God, I feel something. Yes, sir. 72 hours, things are going to turn. Thank you, 72 Lord. hours, your world is about to be Thank blessed. You, Lord. Are you listening to me? And then to think, sitting in that mess, not knowing what to do, six days later, the Bible said God removed Saul and set David into his destiny as the king of Israel over Judah, and there he was blessed of God. You are three days from a miracle and six days from your destiny. Mm. Three days, 72 hours from the greatest miracle of your life, double. And six days you will step into your destiny if you obey God. Here's what the Lord said to me. He would have people listening that are desperate to get out into the supernatural. You're tired of status quo living. You're tired of just barely getting by. You're tired of lack. You're tired of sickness. And the Lord said, when you're on this program with Pastor Benny, I'm going to open the heavens all over the world. I'm going to cause people to walk into the greatest days of their life. You say, well, Coy Barker, you, you've always been blessed. Let me tell you. God so moved in my life and restoration, it was shocking what God did for my life, how he restored my life from brokenness. Mm. I relate to David. I relate to sitting in my ashes. I relate to saying, God, what in the world is going on? It was, a, it was the worst day of my life, but God suddenly opened heaven. And I can tell you, I told Pastor Benny, I'm living the best days that I've ever lived. I've it, been in yeah. this ministry doing this work and helping people get out of debt, get their bodies healed. I've seen people put offerings in my hand in a matter of 24 hours. God spoke to me so clearly, and I read it today. I went back and read it. The Bible said in the book of, of Judges, or in, in the book of 2 Kings chapter 7, that Samaria was in a famine. They were eating their own babies. It was so bad. Yeah. And the Bible said God gave the word of Elisha yeah. and said, by this time tomorrow, that's right. this time, you remember that story, this time tomorrow, the whole thing will be changed. There'll be more than enough. I'm talking to you, some of you, when you obey the Holy Spirit right now, you go to that phone, you say, you know what? I'm going to do the unusual. I'm going to step into the uncommon supernatural. God said he's got you prepared to give $1,000 right now. My faith 
is for those that's got 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 to help keep the gospel. You know what this man's all about? I've watched him all these years. I've seen the miraculous. You know what touches his heart the most? People getting saved. It still touches him beyond work. He loves to see you healed. He loves to see you blessed. But you know what you're giving into? Fertile soil. Like he said a moment ago, it's moist soil. And God's going to take that seed and Amos 9, 13 in the Message Bible said he's going to do a suddenly. He's going to bring you a harvest suddenly. It's going to be so quick your head's going to swim. One thing upon another thing upon another thing. Blessing upon blessing upon blessing. So I'm asking you right now, go to that phone, take your credit card, dial that number and say, here is my thousand dollar seed. You that can give 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, call and say, let's send Pastor Benny to the ends of the earth. He's already going there. Let's make it easy for him. Let's be a part of the provision of Jehovah Jireh. Now, listen to me. Some of you are saying, well, Dr. Barker, I'm not sure I can give a thousand. Well, let me ask you this. Are you willing? 50 is a powerful number in the Bible. 50 is a number of jubilee. 50 is that when your family's restored. 50 means there's healing comes to your body. 50 means you're broken hearted is healed. It means that everything that's gone wrong financially is restored. Your property is restored. Let me tell you something. God is about to show you that he is still the God that controls it all. I don't care what anybody says. When givers get involved in kingdom and they start releasing to the kingdom, mm -hmm. God starts doing miracles. This is a God moment. If I've ever known that I was on a God assignment for you, it's this assignment. When I came here, I understand the prophetic anointing. I understand God used it to stir up God possibilities. I understand God reaches into the depths of man's heart, causes people to do what they don't think they can do. And I'm going to ask you to give $50 a month to this ministry for the next 12 months or a one-time gift of $600. Most of you could just go and say, this is for my jubilee. This is for my family. This is for my sick body. This is for my financial needs. Because I'm convinced when Jesus stood in Luke 4, read the script and said, I'm anointed to heal your broken heart. I'm anointed to set at liberty the bruised. I'm anointed to bring change to your life. Then he said, I give that anointing to you. And he said, you'll preach the jubilee, the acceptable year of the Lord, and I will show my power. You are setting in a prophetic season like no other. This is the most profound prophetic. You don't have to be a great study of prophecy to even understand this is such a strategic, defining God moment. You're not listening to me by chance. So I speak to you by the authority. Pray for them uh, right now. Yeah, I'm, on, I'm going to speak and release you to do more than you thought you could do. Father, Amen, in the name of Jesus, Amen, I break the people loose My from every Lord, chain, oh, every sickness, every disease. You're going to heal those that have terrible diseases, Amen, diseases Lord, that are people, incurable. Lord, heal heal people, them in Lord. Jesus' name. God, as they heed this instruction, they obey this word from God. Change is coming to their family. In Jesus Sons name. and daughters are coming to God. Amen. Households will be redeemed. Amen, Lord. Restoration is coming. Amen. I sense it and release it in Jesus' name along with Pastor Benny. We call it done in your life. Now go that phone quickly. There's a lady getting healed of, of, of skin cancer. We rebuke that cancer in the name of the Lord. Mm. The lady with glaucoma, we rebuke it God. in the name of the Jesus Lord. Jesus' name. Arthritis, we rebuke it in Jesus the name, name of the Lord. Bone cancer, God. we rebuke God. it in the name Ooh. of the Lord. God. Lord, God. heal God. your God. people God. right now. Everyone calling upon your precious mm. name. Wonderful Jesus, for your glory and honor. Bring God. salvation God. to every home, God. every family. Do it, Jesus. In Jesus' it, glorious Jesus. name. Listen, Jesus. you know, as, as, as you were sharing about 1 Samuel 30, David, the Bible says, encouraged himself yes, in the did. Lord as God. Yes, he did. 
when that problem hit and he went over the hill and yeah. saw the fire, he incurred, that's praise. That's praise. That's and praise. then he and Abiathar came into agreement. Yep. And, and you and I are going to agree right now. We are in agreement. Lord, in the name of Jesus, every need is going to be met. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, break that debt, break that yoke of bondage in Jesus' name, in the lives of your saints, for your glory Jesus. and honor. Listen, while you call, I'm going to have you do something. Okay. So, so, and lay, lay hands on me. There's an anointing on me. Come on. Keep calling while he prays for me. Father, I speak life, Amen, Lord. health, Amen, Lord. provision Amen, Lord. like he's never seen. I th oh, my, God, my God, God, I feel such an anointing. Me too, my I brother. thank you, Lord, for restoring his health. Thank you, Lord. Making him strong to take this gospel to the ends Amen, of the earth. Lord. Go before him. Make crooked paths straight. And God speak to his partners that today they ring the phones off. They run to the internet. They make that faith commitment today in Jesus' name. You know, uh, you and I worked together back in the, in the 80s. 80s. I didn't think God would bring us back together after all Here those years. And the anointing is so awesome. We've seen miracles together, Coy. Incredible. We're going to see it again. Waves, waves of miracles. Whoa. Waves. And God said, your ladder shall be greater. You know, the Lord told me that two uh, brand new things I'm to do. Reach to young people. Yes. And yes. pastors. Yes. In fact, this December, we're going to have a massive youth meeting. And I'm having a lot of these big groups want to come and be a part Amen. of it. Amen. Yes, it would be awesome. Listen, there is such a, a great anointing on this man. As oh, he prayed, I know so heaven heard his prayer. Yeah. So you get to that phone, yes. precious now. saints, and now. you sow that seed now. and believe God. Can we believe the Lord as they pursue? Because you said yes. God said three things. Repeat them again. He said, to David. He said pursue, pursue overtake, overtake, and recover all. Pray that they'll recover all. Come on. Listen to me. The Bible said in verse 17, 18 of 1 Samuel 30, he recovered all. Let's His believe family that right illness. now. So, Father, we speak name. to them to recover all. Amen, Nothing Lord. that they've asked you for shall go untouched as they obey you today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, you precious people call and say, I'm believing God. I'm going to recover all. All. And I'm going to receive double in the name of double. Jesus. What the, what the enemy took from me. It's, and you, you said that's what happened to David. Yes. Yes. Double. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Double. Keep calling days. and believe God to heal you when you call too. Listen, yes. listen. You're yes. not sowing seed to be healed. Okay. You're sowing seed to see God bless you financially and take that's care it. of the bondage that's financially. It. But you say, Lord, I'm believing you for a healing today for me and my family. Yes. In Jesus' name. Keep calling. Yes, it shall. Next Monday, September 28th, Pastor Benny Hinn will conduct a powerful atonement season prayer service. He'll be joined by anointed intercessors to agree with you for the blessings of the atonement to come upon you and your family during this year of Jubilee. It's not too late to submit your prayer requests online, so do it today and believe God for miracles in your life.